The TK Tower Channel with November 2016, 03, and now. Digimon times four. Welcome to TK's show and tell Digimon stuff, a special Digimon video that isn't gaming or a Digivice toy review. This is simply just a showcase of the Digimon stuff I've currently collected. Let's check it all out. A bunch of plushy stuff includes an Agumon Child's backpack, a mini Greymon, a presumably one-to-one -one scale Coromon that I picked up at a recent Anime North, a Palmon, Tokomon, and Armadillomon at the bottom here. The Tokomon is actually a beanbag toy. And then a Gomamon, Agumon, and Gavamon that look a little weird. Most of these were probably obtained at cons, and the Tokomon I found at a local dollar store. I'm pretty proud of my Digivice collection. Some of these were gifts from my childhood, but mostly I bought them later in life as a collector. The blue D3 screen stopped working, so I bought the yellow one, and the scanner on the English detector is a bit wonky, but I still want to hold on to them. I won't talk any more about these because you can find review videos on all of these from the previous and current Digimonth on my channel, so check those out to learn about the gameplay for each. I also have the Apply Drive, which is essentially the Digivice from Digimon Universe Apply Monsters. It came with the watch thing and some chips. On top of my TV stand, I have a few figures and things, including the Slopmon that I ordered on eBay ages ago, or Graumon, which I found cheap at Anime North, the Skeelmon and Takato display I picked up at the last Fan Expo, Shoutmon, a little Greymon keychain that hangs out in the background, Black War Greymon hanging out with this Gatomon toy, which was another childhood gift, which used to speak when you moved its arm, Transforming Rise Greymon, Tiny Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, which I recently placed there, so it shows up again later, and this tall paladin mode protecting it. I'm sure you want to know how the Rise Greymon transforms. You start with Geo Greymon and open the tail flap. I accidentally broke this my first time figuring it out. Pull the wings out of the tail, spin and unfold them. Open the back and rotate the regular arm out for the gun arm. Take the cyber helmet out before closing it back up. The gun also unfolds to be longer. Put the gray horn down and place the helmet over top. Then extend the helmet horn. Rotate the chest to the cyber side, which maybe I should have done before closing up his back. You can open up the flaps so the titty missiles are always ready. And now you have an awkwardly bulky dinosaur. For small plastic figures, some of which have keychain rings, I have Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, Raidramon, Hulsamon, Bakamon, Marimon, Vimon, Demi Vimon, Virus Metal Greymon, Kabuterimon, a Green Devidramon, Greymon, Okulmon, Omnimon, Flamedramon, and the Shuraimon that won't stand. Later I found this Marimon in a digital cage and a Metal Greymon piggy bank. There's also this really cool Tag and Crest box Kim bought for me. The inside of the box, the layout, and general design of it is really nice. Inside the box it displays the necklace and tag as well as the crest along the side and a plaque up top. It also contains this beautiful gold card with the original Hero Digimon on it. The necklace is rather heavy, and the assembly and safety slips included recommend you not wear it for extended periods. The glass front and crest slide in the sides for easy changing. At the time of this recording, I have the first two Adventure Try, Season 1-4 box set with Derek Stephen Prince's autograph on the Season 3 case sleeve, as well as the movie on DVD, and Season 6. I'm missing Season 5 and the third try, but I'll get them sometime soon. I also still have my old copy of the movie on VHS. I used to have physical copies of most of the Digimon games, but time and events has left me with just a few. New ones include Next Order, Cyber Sleuth, and All-Star Rumble. On the PlayStation 2, I have Digimon World Data Squad, Digimon World 4, and Rumble Arena 2. And of course, one of the pride and joys of my collection, Digital Monster Version S, the very first Digimon video game in Japanese for the Sega Saturn. For handhelds, I have Digimon World DS, Championship, Battle Spirit 2, and later I dug out Dusk. And on to miscellaneous stuff. Beginning with this card collecting guidebook I included in the same shot for some reason. Speaking of card games, even though I didn't dig them back out for this video, I've done two card game videos with Kim in the past for a Digibattle and New World that you should definitely check out. I also failed to get a photo or video of the Digimon Adventure board game, but that's whatever. Without straying too far from games, I searched for this home arcade game online and managed to get some decent video capture for a video last Digimonth. It's like a console with a single built-in game that's in Japanese so I can't possibly figure out what to do but check out that video to see just how much Kim and I managed to figure out. 
Laying around my desk are the occasional cards that came with some toys, including this thick plastic card for swiping the Season 3 Digivices, and this phone case I ordered on ArtsCow with some unofficial art. Moving on to wall decor, I managed to hold on to this old Digimon flag from when Season 1 was peaking with popularity, and they'd slap the franchise on anything a child would beg for. I tried to find pictures or the images for these two posters online, so I wouldn't have to unroll them. Turns out they don't exist, so here they are. Kim bought me this collection of adventure tri-scrolls which showcase each of the Digidestin and their partner's forms in a wonderful art style on small canvas posters. Unfortunately, I'd love to put these up, but I just can't find space for them on my walls. The one item I do keep up is this awesome wall scroll I spotted by chance at an Anime North a few years ago. Although not technically merch or collectibles, I made an Anjumon cosplay for Anime North. It was among my first attempts at costume making, so it's a little rough. I also did a Beelzemon costume that went through some changes over the years that I even had cards made up of to give away to Digimon fans. There's some videos of it on my channel, so be sure to check those out, as well as the previous Anime North videos. Kim has some stuff too, so maybe next Digimon I'll share her collection with you. Speaking of Kim, I recently purchased some more Digimon stuff, but we'll be doing a special separate video for that later this month. Be sure to stay tuned for it.